Hi, in this tip of the day, I'm going to show you how you can use external audio input to drive animations. This is perfect for VGA sets or installations. So let's get started. To use uh, audio input, you have to open the time settings and pick the audio input channel here. And you have to press this init sound input devices to detect all the audio input sources installed on your device or on your computer. So let's pick this microphone thing here and use the audio reaction operator to see what's going on. So we see that this already shows a spectrum here and it reacts to my voice or to my hand clapping. Um, let's quickly go through the parameters of this operator. So you can pick between different input bands for so the raw FFT data or the normalized FFT data or the frequency bands here in live, the frequency bands with decay or the frequency bands that uh, respond to the attack. I personally like the settings and that's why oh, it's, it's the default um, because it helps to detect beats. Um, you can also see that there are parameters for this window. Window meaning this is the region of the frequency that we use for detecting uh, a beat. You can use this, uh, the control key, um, to slide this window across the frequency. So on the far left, it's detecting bases. On the far right, it's detecting high hats. Um, so let's leave it roughly there. And then now we see that every time I say something that we have a beat here. So let's see how we can actually use this to drive animations. I have this little test scene here prepared. So let's load that up. We have some radial points. We add some noise to that. We draw these, uh, these radial points. We draw some meshes. Then we have a camera that moves around. Uh, we have some fog and then eventually we add some glow here. So let's drive this audio reaction or use this audio reaction to drive these animations. And because my voice is a little bit annoying for that, uh, let's use uh, some audio input from the browser. So I'm pressing play here. So now we hear, should hear some music. So to react to that, we have to switch to this input source. And then let's use the level output to send the gradient. And let's clear the background color every time there's a beat. So we can also use this hit count output to drive things like random seeds. And we see that the random output here has a seed. So now we have a new camera perspective on the beat. We also have this was hit trigger that we can use for all kinds of things. One thing that is useful is the trigger animation. And we can use this to maybe create a pearly noise. Uh, Oh, second further noise and pipe this into the rotation of the tier. Oh, maybe you should not use the time but the scale. We can change the mode here to shake. Maybe increase the frequency a little bit. So there you have it. It's quite easy to set up works actually quite well and um, yeah I hope you learned something today if you want to see more um, drop me some comments I'm super curious to hear what you are thinking and uh, yeah if you want to contribute or want to discuss or want to have more features then join us on discord if you want to see you there bye see you tomorrow